Welcome to one of the fastest growing sports YouTube channels out there, Golden Blue Dude. Is Jimbo Fisher worth the contract extension as far as value goes that he got? Let's go. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's me again, Golden Blue Dude. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I do college football videos every single day. While you're here, go check out my good friends at tristatewithsketch.com. All you have to do is send them the picture, and they'll sketch it on the wood. They have great things like this, this, coasters, and if you're willing to pay a little bit more, something like this. Mention Golden Blue Dude and you'll get 20% off. Don't forget about my score prediction contest. Every week, somebody will win at least $20. I'm trying to get it up to $50, but I need more people to join my Patreon page. All you have to do is go over to my Patreon page, join my Patreon page, and you'll be eligible to win at least $20 a week. If I can get enough Patreon members, I'm going to bump that up to $50. If you join the $4.99 a month, that gives you one prediction guest per week. If you join the $9.99, that gives you two prediction guesses a week. And if you buy the $19.99, that gives you four score predictions per week. You can win as as many times as you want. So you can win a lot of money throughout the college football season. Jimbo Fisher, the head coach of Texas A&M, just received a 10-year contract extension worth $90 million. That means he'll make $9 million a year. That'll put him as the second highest paid college football coach. But is he worth it? Here's the current list before his contract extension. By the way, this is taking into consideration some of the cuts that they had made last year. Number one, Nick Saban in Alabama. He makes $9.3 million a year. Number two, Ed Orgeron for LSU. He makes $8.68 million a year. Number three, Dabo Sweeney at Clemson. He makes $8.25 million a year. Number four, Lincoln Riley at Oklahoma. $8 million a year. And currently, right now, Jimbo Fisher is number five at Texas A&M at $7.5 million a year. Number six, Kirby Smart at Georgia, $6.4 three million a year. Number seven, Dan Mullen at Florida, 6.1 million a year. Number eight, Ryan Day at Ohio State, 5.65 million a year. Number nine, this one surprised me, Mel Tucker at Michigan State, 5.5 million a year. There's a three-way tie for number 10, and that's Mike Leach at Mississippi State, Scott Frost at Nebraska, and Mike Gundy at Oklahoma State. They all make five million a year. So Jimbo Fisher's new contract extension is for 10 years and is worth 90 million. That's nine million a year. That'll put him at number two. Let's see what he's done at Texas A&M. I'm not counting Florida State. What he did at Florida State has nothing to do with the contract extension at Texas A&M. So here's what he's done at Texas A&M. He's 26 and 10 overall. That's pretty good. In 2018 went 9 and 4, won the Gator Bowl, beat NC State 52 to 13. In 2019 he went 8 and 5, won the Texas Bowl against Oklahoma State 24 21. The last year in 2020 he went 9 and 1 with an Orange Bowl win over North Carolina 41 to 27. So he's done pretty good. I'm not here to say that Jimbo Fisher is a bad coach. I think he's a good coach. My question is, is he worth $9 million a year? Nick Saban is the highest paid coach at Alabama. He makes $9.3 million a year. Uh, yeah, he definitely deserves that. He is arguably the greatest college football head coach ever. Definitely worth it. Right now, number two, Ed Orger on LSU, $8.68 million a year. I don't think he's worth that. Yes, he did win a national championship in 2019. Besides that, not all that great. Number three, Dabo Sweeney at Clemson. 8.25 million a year. Definitely deserves that. I think Dabo is the greatest coach at Clemson. Winning two national championships, six straight ACC titles, and six straight playoff appearances. Number four, Lincoln Riley at Oklahoma. 8 million a year. I think he deserves that. No, he hasn't won a national championship, but he's gotten Oklahoma to the playoffs four times. Lost all four times, but a pretty good head coach. Then there's Jimbo Fisher at 7. $5 million, about to be $9 million. I don't think he deserves it at Texas A&M. While he's been at Texas A&M, he's never gotten to the playoffs, never gotten to a national championship, never won a national championship. He's never won the SEC. He's never won the SEC West. He's never even beaten Nick Saban in Alabama. At least Ed Orgeron has done all of those things, even though it was one time. And Dabo Sweeney has done all those things multiple times. I could see him getting a slight pay raise, but a bump up to number two, he hasn't earned it. What are y'all doing? If he had won the national championship last year, or made the national championship, or even just make the playoffs, I know they were super close, but they didn't make it. He hasn't done anything at Texas A&M to earn that big of a pay raise. I think he is a good coach, but he hasn't proven that he's worth being paid the second highest amount in college football. That's just my opinion. I don't think it's there. Is it going to be worth it, Texas A&M? Let me ask you this. If in 10 years, you still haven't won a national championship, still have never gotten to the national championship, you've never won a playoff game, you've never gotten to the playoffs. And with college football playoff expansion coming, that would mean that you would still have never won the SEC, probably not have won the SEC West, 
and probably not have beaten Alabama with Nick Saban. Would he have still deserved this raise? That's my question to you, Aggie fans. I think this raise was made in good faith, thinking that he will definitely get to the playoffs, win a playoff game, get to a national championship, and win a national championship. They're expecting Jimbo Fisher to win a national championship at Texas A&M with this pay raise. Bottom line. No pressure, Jim Bob. All you have to do is figure out how to beat Nick Saban while he's at Alabama and beat Clemson in the same year. And you haven't even come close to doing that. So good luck to you, sir. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next show.